So I think at this point we've all accepted that Instagram has become a video platform rather than a photo platform. Although of course, you know, you can still do okay uploading photos. However, reels really are where it's at these days. And I know a lot of makers and Etsy sellers still kind of <laughs> bulk against that because you feel like you have to put yourself on camera, you have to put your face out there, or you just don't know how to make a reel or how to make a reel that's gonna be successful. So today I wanna show you how to glow up your reels and make a reel that will get traction and get seen and get your business in front of new people. And best of all, for those of you who are shy, I'm gonna show you how to do that without having to be on camera. Although of course, if you're like me and you're quite happy to be on camera, you can do that too. And we're gonna talk about ways to make that better. Okay, first step is to make sure you're making the best quality reel that you possibly can. And there's two things you need to do here to make sure of that. The first thing is to shoot in 4K where possible so that you can optimize the quality of your video and the upload looks crisp and clear and sharp and fantastic. So if you haven't already got your phone set to record in 4K, make sure to go in and change those settings so that it is recording your videos in 4K. Then you wanna make sure that you're uploading the highest quality video possible to Instagram, there is a setting in Instagram to make sure this is happening. What you want to do is you want to go to your settings. You want to go to account and then somewhere in there, it'll say something like data usage or cellular data or something like that. You want to click through there and you'll see the option to upload in high quality at all times. Make sure to turn that on and that way you'll always be uploading high quality video. Yes, it may take a little bit longer to upload, but once it's uploaded, it will look its absolute best. Okay, so the next tip is to add audio to your reel. Now, if you're talking in your reel, we'll get to that in a minute, but for now, I'm just talking about reels that don't have talking in them, or even if they do, you might want audio in the background of you, your speaking, but make sure it's not too loud. That's really important. Make sure if you do add music to a speaking video that you, the music doesn't overpower the speaking. So what you want to be doing is you want to be adding trending audio to your reels. Trending audio is audio that a lot of people are adding to their reels at this time. And Instagram tends to push those reels out to more people because it has that trending audio that's telling the algorithm that people are enjoying the content that has this sound associated with it. But how do you find trending audio? Well, it's actually really easy to do. The simplest way is to get on your own reels feed and start swiping through reels. And what you're looking for is a little arrow in the corner down where it has the audio scrolling. If it has that little arrow, next to the audio, that means that it's trending audio and that's an audio that you want to save. If you don't know how to save audio, all you need to do is click on the little audio scroll. It should bring up that audio and give you an option to save it. And that way you can save it for when you're making your reel later on. Now to find trending audio in other ways, like say you uh, aren't following a lot of people in your niche, so you're not seeing a lot of reels of other makers, you can do two things. You can go to your explore page and just have a look through there and see if anything pops up. Or you can search via hashtags that are appropriate to our niche. Things like handmade business, Etsy seller, craft exposure. Those are all hashtags that are very popular in the handmade business niche. And so by looking for those and then finding reels that are using those hashtags, you're going to be finding hopefully trending audio that is appropriate for your niche. And if you're watching this and you're not a maker uh, and you're in some other niche, then do the same thing. Find hashtags that are big in your niche and go and look at reels that are using those hashtags. Okay, so at this point, you have found some trending audio. You're making sure you're uploading high quality videos. Now let's think about what you're actually going to make. There are so many different types of videos that you could possibly make. You can film, use video. You can also use pictures and turn a picture or photo into a reel. Now you can either just upload these and sort of edit it yourself. However, there is a faster and sneakier and easier way to make reels that use multiple videos or multiple pictures or a mix of both. And that is to use an Instagram reel template. Now, just like I was talking about before, you will see this come up on people's reels. So as you're scrolling through reels, 
just down the bottom, you'll see a little thing that says use template on some reels. And when that happens, what you can do is click on that and it will allow you to just use the template from that reel. So say somebody's uploaded, you know, seven photos and it like each photo switches over in at in time with the music on the beat right you might be and it's trending audio that would make it even better you might be like oh you know i have to then sit down and like put all my videos in and then make sure that the timers are exactly it's a lot of work but someone else potentially has already done the work for you if you find a template that does that so what you can do is if you click use template it'll just take you straight to the creation screen where you can just upload your own content in the little gaps that somebody else has already created and then press make it and it's got the audio in there it's got your stuff uploaded and it's so quick and easy and this is a really great hack or cheat <laughs> to making reels so much faster that already are interesting in some way because somebody else has done the work to actually put together a template for you so ideally you want to combine trending audio and a template put that together and upload it so you could uh, you know find a template that is a few videos back to back and you might want to upload a couple of videos showing different steps in the making process you might want to show a couple of different products that are related in some way there's kind of endless opportunities here and I'm not going to go into that in this video I just want to give you the kind of the hacks to actually create the videos, the content and what you want to talk about and what you want to share is going to be up to you. And you're going to get a lot of inspiration from looking through other people's content. So going through this process of finding trending audio, finding templates and saving them and coming back to them later and, you know, exploring these hashtags that are relevant in your niche, it's going to just spark your imagination and encourage you to come up with a whole bunch of different ideas of ways to create reels. And if you are a reels newbie or you're a little bit hesitant about it, I really suggest that you do this for a little bit at first, just to get a bit of an idea of what other people are doing, what's going well, what's performing well on Instagram, and just get that spark of ideas because part of this process is actually almost copying other people. Like there'll be trends, there'll be things that everybody does, like with the trending audio, people will be doing a similar thing at a similar time. And it's actually okay in this instance to copy that and do the same thing because it's like a, a, a sort of a meme that's going through the platform. So don't be afraid to do that and just ride that wave. And in fact, that's what you want to be doing because that's how you're going to get yourself hopefully perhaps to go viral or just end up in front of some new people. All right, so the next tip number four, this is a really important one. Now, oftentimes, you know, if we haven't thought strategically about it, we're just going to upload a reel whenever we feel like it. But I want to encourage you to look at your, your Instagram analytics and see when most of your people are actually on the platform. Because if you can upload at a time when the majority of your followers are on the platform, you have an increased chance of them seeing your post and the more of them that see and interact with it, the more chance it has of blowing up and sharing to other people. Now, in order to do this, the first thing you need to do, of course, is make sure that you have a business or creator account with Instagram. So you actually have stats and analytics to look at. Okay. So to see this, you want to click on your professional dashboard. You want to go into account insights and click on the see all for account insights. Then you want to click on total followers and you'll be brought to the page that tells you all about your followers. If you haven't looked into this data before, it's actually a really good thing to do. And there's lots of interesting information here. But what I want you to do is scroll to the bottom of that screen and see when your people are online. There is a graph and you can click through the days of the week and it will show you which days and at what times the majority of your followers are on the platform. Then I want to encourage you to make sure that you're uploading your reels at the time when the largest proportion of your followers are active on Instagram. All right, so I promised to talk a little bit about videos where you are actually speaking or you're face to face with the camera. The most important thing to do with these sorts of videos is to add captions to them because either a lot of people scroll on reels without the sound enabled. I know I do that most of the time. And also in order to help people who are hard of hearing so that they can get the value from your video as well. Now this is super easy to do. If you're not already familiar with the captions feature on Instagram, you can literally just press on a button and it will auto generate captions for you, which is fantastic. Now there's a couple of options you'll notice when you're uploading captions, you can scroll across and choose different styles. I would encourage you to think about which style is going to work best 
for your branding, but also there's one style that actually adds blocks of text to the screen at a time rather than being one word at a time. And that might be easier for people to read because there's multiple words on the screen at once. So consider adding that style of captions to your video. And remember when you're positioning your captions on the screen to use those little guide uh, lines that pop up as you drag it around so that you don't drag it so that it's going to be covered by all the stuff when it's uploaded, you know, there's like your profile and so on and so forth. You don't, you want to make sure your captions are going to be visible to everybody in either the home feed or in the reels feed. Okay. So the sixth tip is to remember to pay attention to your captions. Now, of course, when people are scrolling on reels on Instagram, most of the time, they're probably not expanding your captions and reading them. And that's why it's important to put, you know, the bulk of what you're talking about on your reel itself. However, Instagram is reading your captions and it is using those captions to decide who to show this reel to. Basically your captions are your search engine optimization. So make sure you are putting the content information into the caption so that Instagram can read it. And of course, for anyone who's expanding it, make sure there's something interesting there for them to read as well. Now, as I'm recording this current best practice, if you want to add hashtags to your caption is apparently to add about three really relevant hashtags to your caption because that's what Instagram is telling us to do. So, Hey, let's do what they tell us to do. Finally, I have a bonus tip for you, and that is consider repurposing your reels on other platforms. I've been experimenting lately with taking my Instagram reels and uploading them to YouTube shorts because I have a YouTube channel. And um, I thought, hey, why don't I take some of my making reels and upload them to YouTube because that sort of content seems to be popular. And it has been crazy popular. <laughs> like some of the reels that I've uploaded to YouTube have done 10, 20, 30 times better on YouTube shorts than they ever did on Instagram. So you can easily take an Instagram reel and you can repurpose it on TikTok. You can repurpose it on YouTube shorts. You can repurpose it on Pinterest as a video pin. And this is a way of getting more bang for your buck. You're making one piece of content, but then you are spreading it across multiple platforms and potentially getting views and follows in those places as well. Now, when it comes to YouTube, most of you are like, YouTube is about like this sort of video, like what you're watching right now, but they're moving more to prioritizing and sharing more and more YouTube shorts. So even if you don't have this style of YouTube channel, you could very easily simply have a YouTube channel of YouTube shorts and get traffic and followers that way. And that's all without doing any extra work, except having to download the video and upload it again. Now, if you're all keen to do this, but you'd like to be part of a group of people who are doing this together over in the Thriver Circle, my membership community for makers, we are going to be doing a reels challenge very, very soon where I'm going to be giving tips every day on how to create awesome reels. And we're all going to be uploading a reel every day for seven days. So if you want to come and be part of that reels challenge, head on over to thrivercircle.com and join us right now. Not only will you be supporting this channel, supporting my podcast, helping to support me to get more information out there to people just like you growing the handmade business, you'll also get access to my You'll Get a Thrive course. It's a year long course that'll help you start and grow a thriving and profitable handmade business and also a huge library of in-depth video workshops on all things handmade business, as well as their community and live workshops and events with me every single month. So there's a lot going on in there. I'd love to have you come and join us. Now, if you finish watching this video, I'm hoping you're inspired to try all of this and more with Instagram reels. And if you are, that's awesome. But if you're still thinking, oh, social media, it's, I really don't like it. It's so much work. Look, it is possible to have a successful business without social media. There's just some things you need to know and some marketing tools that you need to take advantage of. And I talk about all of that in this video here. So go check that one out next. If you'd like to know some non social media ways of growing your handmade business, I'm Jess Van Den. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this one, I'll be back again soon with another video. Bye for now.